Alabama. There's super sub Ron Slayer the Vols at home to host Alabama. Rod Grizzard, SEC's leading scorer, was held at just eight points, but he hit there to tie up the game at 14. Slay enters the game with the Vols down one. The drama. Slay. 14 points for Slay. He put Tennessee up one. Then Slay, a master inside as well. He was 6 of 12 from the field. 10 in the first half. Vols by three at the break. In transition, John Higgins. Higgins, one of five volunteers in double figures. He had 13 points. Tennessee was up 15 eventually. Charles Hathaway says, don't even go there. Not Gerald Wallace. Tony Harris up ahead to Isaiah Victor. IV, 12 points, eight boards. In the end, Tennessee made it look easy. The Vols 15 and one, matching their best start since the 1941-42 season. Tennessee holds the SEC leading sniper Rod Grizzard, worth repeating, to just eight points before he fouled out with AC. The Big Ten, Indiana and Michigan Dean Sports Center showcase highlight worthy by you, the viewer and fans at Chrysler Arena. They want Rick Pitino. Nice confidence for the home coach, huh? Brian Ellerby. First half, rough and tumble. Hoosiers. Kyle Hornsby dives to the loose ball. Rod Robinson Jr. falls on his head. Hornsby's face bleeding. He returned to the sideline at halftime, but did not play again. It is hardwood after all. Later in the third, Wolverines up six. Lavelle Blanchard inside for the flush. He had 21. Michigan up one at the half, 33-32. Second half, Michigan up by half a dozen. Josh Aslan inside the hoop and the foul. He had 14. Wolverines up nine. 30 seconds left, Michigan up four, trying to ice it. Nice dish from Avery Queen to Leon Jones. Michigan wins at 70-64. The Hoosiers cannot back up the win over number one Michigan State. Blanchard earns his room and board. Led the team in scoring with 21, tied for rebounding and assist honors with nine and four. Like when the president talks smack. Georgia Tech, ninth-ranked Virginia, another ACC offering early second half. Virginia up, Adam Hall hits that one. He had five later second half. Georgia Tech down by two. Redshirt senior Sean Fine off balance hits the three. Tech takes a one-point lead. Four and three and a half left. Tied at 63, Chris Williams. The rainbow, good height on that one. He had 15 points. Shot at 16 times. Yellow Jackets next possession down. And how about Holston Lane, four of five, 10 points. Tech goes up one, less than 50 seconds. Tech by three and fine again, the desperation three. Fine and dandy at 25. Tech wins its first road game since February 11th of 1999, 73-68. Both teams now one and two in conference. The Wahoos, 35% shooting, 20 baskets, 23 turnovers. Basketball, 10th ranked Orangeman trying to score more than Rutgers. This will help. Queth Dwayne, he's young and athletic. Led the Orangemen with 16. They were up eight. Second half to Sean Williams. Knocking down the three from way out. Ten points in 39 minutes. His team's up 15, but Rutgers staying in it. Kareem Wright, the layup inside. Two of his 20. Rutgers cuts the lead to seven. Down four. Todd Billett, the only Scarlet Knight. They hit a three, and he'd hit four of them. Jim Beheim cannot believe it. 14-zip run. Rutgers down one. Six seconds left. Billett going to miss the three. Wright's there, meaningless hoop at the buzzer. Syracuse survives 64 60. Look at it again. Damone Brown nearly fouls Wright. Son, just get out of the way and let's go back to Syracuse, please. They hold on. 64 63. Orangeman survived. Second half collapse to remain perfect in the Big East. Syracuse. So is Maryland. Then the Terps watch it a few more times to prepare for Wednesday night's clash against Carolina. How did UNC prepare for Maryland? by forgetting the win over Wake, said Tar Heels coach Matt Darty. If you enjoy something too much, you're going to get smacked the next time you go on the court. Here we go. Hey, look who's in the house, former Terps, DD franchise. Second half, Tar Heels simply turned a four-point deficit into a 12-point lead on plays like this. Jason Capel, 13 points for him, three assists for Joseph. Meanwhile, Chris Lang blocked by Lonnie Baxter. Joseph Forte, Julius Peppers, blackout. Under two minutes to go, Drew Nicholas. Nicholas blocked one of five by Brendan Haywood and then Forte preaching its only one rule I will not lose North Carolina up 10 they were up eight under a minute to go scramble Terrence Morris Juan Dixon Dixon 22 points Maryland down five Peppers to Forte 20 of his 26 came in the second half Forte who hails from Greenbelt Maryland loving this 
Forte scores 11 of the Tar Heels' final 13 points to seal Carolina's ninth straight win and first at the Cold Field House in four tries. UNC a sizzling 10 of 16 from three-point range. The Heels win despite Maryland's big three of Morris, Dixon, and Baxter combining for 63 points. Duke visiting the pack. St. Louis Ram Torrey Holt hoping his alma mater to pull up the upset. Clifford Crawford to Kenny Inge. Eight points for Kenny. Herb Sendak's troops up early, but then they were down two. Ron Kelly. Kelly blocked by Shane Battier. One of three blocks for Shane. Here we go the other way. Battier. Jumping off the deep end. He was 6 of 11 from three-point range, 22 points, six boards. And then more dominance. Mike Dunleavy will find Jason Williams and not scared of heights. Oh, boy. And then let's go coast to coast, shall we? With Crawford, who was just feeling it. Ten points for Crawford. Pat cut it to eight. Coach K, is he ever worried? Pat down six, five minutes to go. Don't worry. Jason Williams is ferocious. Two of his 22. Duke wins. With a win, Duke extends its league record road ACC win streak to 21 games. The Blue Devils also win for the 84th time in their last 85 games against unranked opponents. First half game time. Marcus Taylor, Charlie Bell is there to make the rebound. He has 15 points. Later, Jason Richardson misses. Charlie Bell is there for the tip. And offensive rebounding is nothing but effort. Effort is the key to success. Zach Randolph getting it. Michigan State up 41-24 at the half. Second half, Spartans up 18, and they continue to crash the boards. Randolph going to miss. Andre Hudson. I have Windex. Spartans up 20. Later in the fourth, Bell will miss. That's another rebound opportunity. Andre Hudson, BMOC. 19 points, 9 rebounds, a career high, 5 assists. Spartans win it by a count of 84-53. They out-rebound Northwestern 46-17. Their winning streak is now 1. Freshman Randolph and Marcus Taylor made their first starts. Randolph goes for 11 points and 7 boards. Taylor adds 4 points and 7 assists. Should be noted, the Wildcats did lead for the first 80 seconds. More league night from the Big Ten. Wisconsin, Purdue, second half tied at 62. Maurice Linton inside. He got tough, too. He had seven points. Badgers up the deuce. Less than two minutes to go. Now knotted at 64. Rodney Smith, little pump fake. Up he goes. He'll drop that. He had 19. Purdue up 66-64. Less than a minute, Purdue protecting the two-point lead. Carson Cunningham, the drive, lays it in, and the foul. Stardomus, the bustomus. He had eight points, and Purdue wins at 73-67. Badgers drop their second in a row, both of them Big Ten road games. Boilers still perfect in league play. Their second victory over a ranked team beat number one Arizona back in late November. SEC, Florida, Mississippi State Gators, minus Teddy Dupay and Brent Wright. Mississippi State down seven. Antonio Jackson to the cup. Gets it to drop. Mississippi State down five. Next possession for the Bulldogs. Jackson. You saw him from in close. How about shooting from far? That's behind the line. You get three points for that. Jackson, 17 points. 11 seconds to go. Jackson driving. Throwing it up. Misses, but look at that. Sweet putback by Derek Zimmerman. Game tied at 79. Four seconds to go. Brett Nelson. A huge jumper falling away. He hits it. Gives Florida the lead. 81-79. It would finish. 81-80. Nelson's gamer capped a 19-point second half for the sophomore. It was important down there at the Hartford Civic Center. UConn leads 29-20 when Isaac Hawkins slams one home. Second half, all UConn. Fits Chad Johnson. Drives, but look at Suleiman Juan with the swat. He had two blocks. UConn three as a team. Later in the second half and clearly they're playing on like eight and a half foot rims down there because Edmund Saunders had no trouble 15.7 of eight shooting you count up 20 four and a half left to play Juan gets the rebound look at that yeah definitely eight and a half foot room they wore out the rack Juan nine points UConn wins at 73 53 that's a goal Huskies working down low outscoring the Panthers 46 26 in the paint to leak Brown 10 points 10 assists joins teammate Karan Butler is the only UConn freshman to record back-to-back -back 10 plus assist games Georgetown still undefeated Pictures from Bud Walton Arena, Mississippi and Arkansas. Arkansas's Alonzo Lane, his team led by as many as 12 in the first half, but Ole Miss was the last eight before intermission. Aaron Harper with three, 24-20 at the break. Second half, Jason Holmes for three. He had six points, and Ole Miss goes on to win it in a low-scoring game, 53-48. In fact, this one was 40 minutes of hell just to watch. Rebels Ole Miss uh, 19 of their first 23 shots, and the Hogs hit just two of 14, 12 of them threes in the final five minutes. Longhorns trying to make it 22 straight at the drum by beating Kansas State. Sloppy first half. Kelvin Howell, sloppy pass. Oh, look at the coach. Where's Real Blackman? Texas playing just as poorly. Brandon Mouton shoots. 
misses. Yeah, oh, oh, kicked away. Using one of those newfangled round basketballs, apparently. Rick Barnes not happy. His team's six first half field goals. Fans didn't do any better. Not happy. Texas in the second half ran to Mouton. Over we'll three to cap a 12 zip Texas run. Old Ridge of K State can't stand to watch. Wins the flight back to Manhattan. Texas wins at 63 to 41. To do that, the Illini had a win on the road in Iowa, a place where Illinois has won just five of their last 21 visits. If that's not challenging enough, this was just their third game away from Assembly Hall that wasn't played at a neutral site. To Carver Hawkeye Arena we go. Under 12 minutes left in the first half, Brian Hogan. Kick it out. Luke Wrecker. Hawkeyes by five. Time running out in the first half. Wrecker has found a home. Iowa by three. Dean Oliver. The pass deflected. Back to himself. Blackout at the buzzer. Iowa by six at the break. Second half. Illini trail by just one. Corey Bradford. Man is silk from there. 80 straight games. He's hit a three. Illinois by two. Under nine minutes left in the second half. We're tied. Oliver. Oh. Sweet. Iowa by three. Under six minutes left. Iowa by seven. Let's see more. Luke Wrecker. Season high 27 points. Iowa goes on to win easily. Hey, look which team is one of the most lethal backboards. It's Iowa. Wrecker. Oliver combining to score 43 points in the win. The Hawkeyes hold the outstanding Marcus Griffin to just eight points. The Illini shot a dismal 38% from the field and sank just seven of 17 from the line. Back to the Pac-10, Arizona in Spokane playing the Cougars, Richard Jefferson, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas, target practice, 22 points for Arenas. Moments later, Jason Gardner, three of his 16. The Cats were nine of 13 from behind the arc. Six of six from three-point range was Jason Gardner. Arenas, 33-17 Arizona. Arenas, 41-19 Cats at the break. Second half, Gardner, just in case you didn't think he was going all out before. Wow, he's quick. Arizona up by 30. Moments later, off the miss, Gardner. Sweet. Arizona wins big, 84 to 51. Arenas, that was a game high, 22 points. Lauren Woods chipped in, 17 points. State, who dressed just eight players for the game. Jason Collins turns and hits the J, but uh-oh, he traveled. Later in the first, Stanford on the break. Michael McDonald forces it, turns it over. Montgomery's team, a finally one at the break. Second half, Casey Jacobson simply changes the game. Takes over, puts Stanford up seven. Jacobson jumping off the deep end. Four of five from three-point range was Casey. And then he's a thief. Nobody's going to catch him. He puts Stanford up by 11. Hey, just find Jacobson. Michael McDonald does just that. Jacobson, 7 of 9 from the field, 19 points in this game. Hard to believe this was a one-point game at the half. Look at the final. Jacobson hit four threes and scored 15 of his 19 in that second half. Julius Barnes, a career high, 15 points off the bench. First time since 1962 that USC is ranked and UCLA is not when they played each other. Earl Watson, for the love of elevation, Dan Gazarek. Seven points for Dan. USC battles back down by seven. The Trojan, Sam Clancy. Look out, clear the way. Clancy, 12 of 16 from the field, 31 points. Just over a minute to play, Trojans down six. David Bluthenthal likes the view. Trojans pull within three. The next possession, Bluthenthal on D, gets a hold of it, and Brian Scalabrini throws the ball away. USC with 28 turnovers in the game. 13 seconds left, Trojans down three. Bluthenthal, chance to tie. Billy Knight says that's nice, blocks it, and that's it. UCLA takes out the Trojans by five. Sam, Sam Clancy led everybody with 31 points.